Hello everyone, I am Divya, your math facilitator. In this class, we shall learn the solutions of exercise 5.1 of your class 10. The first bit of this uh, exercise we have already completed in the earlier video. If you have missed watching it, you can watch that video. I'll just pin it up here in the i button. Now, here we are starting from question number 2. Okay, represent the following situations in the form of a quadratic equations. So, we are going to represent these following situations in the form of a quadratic equation, right? So, the area of a rectangular plot is 528 square meter. So, a rectangular plot is given to you. The area of this plot is 528 square meter. Okay. So, what is given to you? Area of the plot is 528 square meter. But you know, area of rectangle is length into breadth. So, length into breadth is 528 square meter. Till here, I hope all of you understood. See the next line. The length of a plot is 1 meter more than twice its breadth. Okay. If I am taking L as the length of the plot and B as the breadth of the plot. So, length of a plot is 1 meter more than twice the breadth. Okay. So, if I am taking breadth as X. Okay. So, let me write it here. If breadth, if I am taking it as X. Okay. So, I can take length is nothing but. See here, length of the plot is 1 meter more. Length is 1 meter more than what? 1 meter more means you will have to add 1. It is 1 meter more than twice the breadth. Twice the breadth means 2 times the breadth. Okay? So, 2 times breadth is x. So, length is 2x plus 1. Have a look here once again. So, the condition given here is, see here. The length of the plot is 1 meter more than twice its breadth. So, if breadth I am taking it as x because length and breadth are compared here. Breadth I am taking it as x. So, length is 1 more than. Okay, 1 meter more. 1 meter more means 1 extra. 1 meter extra. Okay, so it is plus 1. So, 1 meter more than twice its breadth. Okay, twice its breadth means 2 times. Twice means 2 times. 2 times breadth. So, this is 1 meter more than 2 times breadth. So, the condition will be 2x plus 1. Okay. So, length is 2x plus 1, breadth is x. Till here, I hope it is clear. Now, we need to find the length and breadth of the plot. Okay. So, here they are asking you to simply represent it as quadratic equation. So, you, we will just form the equation and then we are not going to solve it. So, solving part is in 5.2 exercise. Okay. So, here now the task for us is whether we are able to read the question, understand the question and form the mathematical statement. That is the quadratic equation in this case or not. Okay. So, yes. So, now as I told you, area is length into breadth. Length is 2x plus 1. Just now I explained you why. And breadth is x. That is equals to 528. Just calculate. So, 2x into x is 2x square plus 1 into x is x is equals to 528. Let us bring 528 to the LHS. So, you have 2x square plus x minus 528 equals to 0. So, this is a quadratic equation. This is of the form ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0, right? So, this is a quadratic equation where x is nothing but breadth of a rectangle. Did you all understand this question? Let's have a look at the next question. Yeah, before that, let me tell you, I am going to take a free class. Okay, free class on an academy. So, here are the timings of the class date. Date is August 19, that is on Thursday. I am going to take a free class for you on an academy. And timing is 5.15 p.m. So, evening 5.15 p.m. I will be taking this class. The topic is solving pair of linear equations. I will give you different model questions where you can actually, you know, uh, get all different types of questions where you can, uh, you know, explore and solve the pair of linear equations. So, you can join this class. It's completely free. You'll have leaderboards, you'll have polling questions and you'll have a lot of fun also along with, you know, knowledge. So, it's completely free. All you need to do is I'll give you the link to enroll for this class. I will give you the link in the description. So, you will have to just click on the link which is given in the description. So, a page will open. 
Now in this page, you will find a green color enroll button. You will find my name, my my picture and all and the class name. So you will just click on this enroll button, green color enroll button and it will ask you a code. So the, the code you will use is DMM. Okay. So it will ask you a code and the code you are going to use is DMM. So use this code DMM to join the free class. Okay. So don't forget to enroll. Enroll it right now. And yes. You have also batches, new batches coming up starting on an academy. So this is Let's Crack NCRT batch for science starting on 23rd August. You have one more batch focus term one batch for maths and science starting on 23rd August. So you can use my code DMM to get discount. You have term one victory batch for max science english hindi sst and there is one more term one victory batch for with different educators starting on 16th august both the batches start on 16th august but the educators are different so you can join these batches also and there is one max wizard batch which you can join it is on 30th august and there is a dark learning batch for max and science it also starts on 30th august you can join this batch also so the code you will use is dmm to get a discount and also this is a code for free class isn't it so here are the offers for plus and iconic so you can take plus or iconic subscription and the prices are so if you're going to take a one year plus subscription for 12 12 months for 12 months the price is fifteen thousand. okay that means for one month you will be paying for one month you'll be paying 1250 okay if you want a discount on this 10 percent discount is given on the code dmm Okay, if you apply this code DMM, you'll get a 10% discount. That means around 1125, around 1000, you will get unlimited classes. And also there is a raise a hand feature in plus and iconic classes where you can actually talk with your educators, favorite educators. So you have a lot of benefits within 1000. You can learn all the subjects with unlimited classes and unlimited test and practice. So do enroll and also there is you know an offer now. So if you're taking a one-year subscription, you'll get your two months subscription free so you you are you can avail this offer also you can avail 10 percent discount by using the code dmm and also you will get you will if you get a if you buy a one year cbs subscription you will get a 20 percent off on iit and need preparation so a lot of savings you can do if you enroll right now right so and also don't forget to enroll for the free class right so let's move on to the next question the product of the product of two consecutive positive integers is 306. So if you are taking the product of two consecutive positive integers, it is 306. We need to find the integers. So here, how shall we do? So you will take let the let the consecutive integers. I am taking it as x and x plus 1. Consecutive is nothing but the immediate, the next integer. If one integer you are taking it as x, the next time taking it as x plus 1. Okay, so they are x and x plus 1. Now you need to take the product. Product means product means multiplication. Product of these integers is nothing but x into x plus 1 x and x plus 1 are the two integers okay immediate integers next integer if x is one integer x plus 1 is the next integer product means i have to multiply both of them so product of these two is given as how much 3 not 6 so multiply x into x is x square plus x into 1 is x is 3 not 6 so you will get x square plus x transposing 3 not 6 to lhs it is minus 3 not 6 is equal to 0 so this is a quadratic equation. It is of the form x square plus bx plus c equal to 0. And x is the smaller integer. Okay, because you are adding plus 1 to it. So x plus 1 will be the bigger integer. x will be the smaller integer. Next question. Rohan's mother is 26 years older than him. Okay, the product of ages of product of their ages after 3 years will be 360. So you need to find Rohan's present age. So let us take let Rohan's present age. I'm just taking Rohan's present age. I'm taking it as X. Okay. Now Rohan's mother is 26 years older than him. For example, just, just understand. Suppose you are 10 years old and your father is 20 years older than you. So what is your father's age? Your age plus 20 will give your father's age 30. Isn't it? You are 10 years old. Your father is 20 years older than you. 
okay so your your father's age will be your age plus 20 so 30 years so here also rohan's age is x and rohan's mother is 26 years older than him so rohan's mother's age will be how much rohan's mother's age will be rohan's age plus 26 that extra 26 years okay and now they are saying that after 3 years okay see here after 3 years after 3 years product of rohan and his mother's age will be 360 but firstly after 3 years what is rohan's age after 3 years rohan's age will be how much it will be x plus 3 suppose you are you are uh, say 10 years now your age is 10 years after 3 years your age will be 10 plus 3 similarly rohan is x years now after 3 years his age will be x plus 3 and rohan's mother's age will be present age is 20, x plus 26 okay to this again you will add 3 so rohan's mother's age will be x plus 29 26 plus 3 is 29 so after 3 years what is the condition given to us they are saying that product of their ages okay product of their ages is 360 which means rohan's age is x plus 3 after 3 years only this age will consider it is x plus 3 into mother's age is x plus 29 this is 360 let me write it here rohan age is x plus 3 multiplied by mother age is x plus 29 so it is nothing but 360 So let us write x into x plus twenty nine. Okay, this x into x plus twenty nine I am doing, and then three into plus three into x plus twenty nine is three sixty. So x into x is x square plus twenty nine x plus three x plus twenty nine into three is eighty seven is equals to three sixty. So x square plus twenty nine x plus three x gives you thirty two x. Plus eighty seven minus three sixty three sixty. I'm just transposing it to LHS. So you'll have x square plus thirty two x eighty seven minus three sixty will give you minus two seventy three equal to zero. Now this is a quadratic equation. Okay, this is a quadratic equation. It's a quadratic equation where x is what x is. Rohan's age. You have considered x as Rohan's age, isn't it? See here, x is Rohan's age. Did you all understand this? Right. So let's move on to the next question. A train travels at a distance. A train is traveling a distance four eighty kilometers. So here the train is starting. It is traveling a distance of four eighty kilometer at a uniform speed. If the speed had taken had been eight kilometer less. So suppose. Let the speed first in the first case. Let us take let the speed is x kilometer per hour. So in x kilometer per hour the train is traveling. So it is traveling distance is four eighty kilometer. Can you tell me what is the time taken? You know speed is equal to distance upon time. Here you have speed and distance. What is time? Time is distance upon speed. So time is nothing but distance is four eighty. Speed is x. So time in the first case I can take it as nothing but four eighty upon x. Now they are saying in the second case, have a look at the second line of the question. If the speed has been eight kilometer less, now the speed you are taking is x kilometer. Okay, now what is happening in the second case? Speed is eight kilometer less. Eight kilometer less means. You are decreasing the speed by eight kilometer. That means if the speed is x, now it is x minus eight. Initially, if you are going by thirty speed, now if I say I am decreasing my speed by five kilometer, so thirty five thirty minus five will give me my present speed, isn't it? So if you say you are traveling with thirty kilometer per hour speed, and if you say you are decreased the speed by five kilometer, so now your speed will be how much? Thirty minus five, so twenty five will be. So here also initial speed is x. You are decreasing the speed by eight kilometers, so it will be x minus eight now. Okay, and and you are taking three hours more. Okay, so time time taken is three hours more to cover the same distance. Distance is same four eighty. Time taken is t plus three. Initially the time was t. Now it is t plus three. Now here what is the time? Can you tell me what is the time? T plus three is the total time. You will get it by the same formula. 
टाइम इज डिस्टेंस बाई स्पीड डिस्टेंस इज फोर एटी बाई स्पीड इज एक्स माइनस एट ओके डिड यू ऑल अंडरस्टैंड दिस सो हैव ए लुक हियर सो नाउ बाय दिस प्रॉब्लम ओके बाय दिस प्रॉब्लम हैव ए लुक हियर सो टाइम इज टी प्लस थ्री इज इक्वल्स टू आई गॉट फोर एटी अपॉन एक्स माइनस एट Isn't it? But what is t? T is nothing but 480 upon x. So substitute here. Plus 3 is equals to 480 upon x minus 8. Okay. Just take this x term here. So you'll have 480 upon x minus 480 upon x minus 8 is equals to minus 3. Okay. Or we can also write the same thing as if you want a plus 3 here, you can write the same thing as. 480 upon x minus 8 by taking minus common minus 480 upon x is equals to 3. Just take minus common here if you want. I'll write one more step. So this minus minus cancel and you'll get this step. So now you can take LCM. LCM will be x minus 8 into x. So you'll have 480 x minus 480 into x minus 8 here. That is equals to three. So again, this is four eighty x minus four eighty x plus four eighty into eight is how much? Or you can take four eighty common here and you can cancel with three. I'll tell you this step. So it it will make your calculations easier. Have a look here. Four eighty I can take common from these two. So if I take four eighty common, I'll have x minus of minus eight upon X minus eight into x is equals to three. Okay, so yeah, let me do it here. Just give me one second. So now we we are going to transpose it and solve it. Okay, have a look here. So yes, so the final step is four eighty into x minus. Let me open the bracket so it is minus x plus eight upon. X into x minus eight is equals to three plus x minus x cancel. So I have four eighty into eight is equals to three into x into x minus eight. I'm just sending this to the other side. So now see here, four eighty into eight divided by three. Three I can bring it to LHS. So that is equal to x into x minus eight. So three ones are three ones are three six are and zero. Okay, so one sixty into Eight, one sixty into eight. You can write it as one two eight zero. So this is one two eight zero is equal to x into x is x square minus eight x. So the final quadratic equation is x square minus eight x minus one twenty equals to zero. Okay, where x is what? Where x is speed of train. Have a look here once again. I'll explain this question. See here, x is the speed of train. It is traveling 480 km. X is speed. So time taken is distance by speed. So it is 480 by x. This is the first condition. Second condition, speed is reduced. Speed is reduced and time is increased. And the other, meaning slow gel the time eco bar to the reach number and the speed is reduced by how much by eight. So if speed is x, it is reduced by eight. So new speed is x minus eight, but the distance is same. Distance is 480. Now time taken is three hours more. Okay, so t plus three. Initial time ki inka three hours extra. So t plus three. Initial time is 480 upon x. Now we have just substituted this, and see, and I I I just sent 480 upon x minus eight to the other side and rest of the story. Clear with this. So I hope the session was useful for you. If yes, don't forget to like the video, and I'll meet you with 5.2 exercise in the next class. And do like, comment, and let me know whether you need more and more classes from me. If yes, then I need your response, right? So do subscribe to the channel also if you are new, and don't forget to enroll for the free class. Thanks for watching.